Hey guys, what's up? Disney Nuts here. Today I'm going to talk about five things that you should do and you should not do on your Disney Instagram account. Okay, my first don't is actually don't spam your account. And that means don't put a bunch of photos one right after the other, expecting people to like them. It gets to a point where if your name comes up too many times, I've seen that people end up unfollowing. And it's okay, and I understand that you may have a bunch of really good Disney photos that you wanna share, but span them out. And that comes to my dues, which in my case, I'll post one to two a day. And it keeps everything somewhat balanced, and that way you're not always in somebody's face posting your Disney photos. Number two is actually don't air your dirty laundry on your Instagram account. If you have another issue with another Instagrammer or Facebook account, go ahead and DM them on a private message. Don't bring that stuff into the Disney account. People don't like that. Now, it's sad that many times if you do something like this, people will respond and you'll get a bunch of comments and stuff like that. But you don't want to end up being, you know, a bad flavor in people's mouth of somebody who likes to complain and bicker and pick on other people. It just doesn't look right. Now what I do recommend is go ahead and put comments about rumors of Disney, stuff that you've heard, stuff that you've seen, stuff that people are chatting about. That's the cool stuff that people like to hear and that's the cool stuff that people like to read. Number three, post pictures related to your account. If your account is a Disney account, then please post Disney photos. Don't put photos which are related to personal. For that, have a personal account, which is what I do. I post photos of my family, of my cat. Now remember, you gotta think that Instagram has a really far reach, literally worldwide. So while you may think it's cute to share a photo of your cat, not everybody likes cats, and maybe somebody in around the world is not looking to see your account, a photo of your cat, and what's gonna end up happening is gonna end up unfollowing you. So now for the do on this one, yes, you can post photos of yourself on Main Street, in front of the castle, on other places, as long as it's on Disney property. That is what people want to see, and that's what people are looking for under your Disney account. So it's okay to take that selfie on Main Street, and it's okay to hold the Starbucks cup in front of the castle and stuff like that. That's the stuff that you can post. Okay, number four is don't post bad photos. And what I mean about this are photos that are out of focus, photos that are oversaturated, photos that have too much filters on them that you really can't define what they are. People don't like that stuff, to be honest. And sometimes it's really discouraging when you're looking for a Disney account and you see a photo that's oversaturated where there's too much orange and red. So try to keep away from photos like that even though they sound cool. In my case, I actually don't use any filters at all. I do it all editing on the computer and if I like what I see on the computer, that's how it goes on to the Instagram account. Now on the flip side of that, do post your best photos. And I mean, of all the photos that you've taken of the castle, try always to put the best one out there because that's the one that's gonna stand out from all the other ones, okay? Okay, the last one is actually don't post anything regarding the politics, religion, or stuff that's not really related to Disney. It's a Disney account, guys. Now remember when I say Disney account, it's stuff that people come to your account because it has Disney content. And nobody's really interested in what political party I voted for and why, so that's stuff that I keep away from my account because it just provides no value whatsoever. Now on the flip side, it is okay to mention stuff about yourself regarding Disney. For example, how often do you visit your parks? What is your favorite ride? Which is your favorite park? Stuff like that people do like to know. And it's okay to mention a little bit about yourself on your account. And while it is a Disney account, I always recommend people, and I try myself to do it sometimes a little hard, is to post stuff about yourself out there. For example, I don't like to follow accounts that I don't know who this person is. It's just like a robot posting photos and you've never seen the person or their face or what they do. In this case, what I like to do is sometimes, and I not do it always, I'll just post maybe a photo of myself on my stories or on Disney Selfie Sunday or stuff like that. So, okay. So those are my top five do and don'ts on your Disney Instagram account. Do you have any do or don'ts that you try to follow? If you do, go ahead and mention them in the comments below. I'm curious to see what they are. Okay, so that's it for this video. So if you like these type of videos, please click on the subscribe button and the bell so you get notified of future videos. It helps to continue making these videos. But until then guys, stay awesome.